good morning students of class 4 students i am sure all of you are happy and healthy students in my last video i had completed question number 1 to 4 of exercise b of poem 3 someone came knocking and i am sure all of you must have completed the four question and answers in your english notebook not today children i am going to continue with the fifth question of exercise b i had already discussed this question in my last video now today i'll be once again discussing and writing but before i start this all of you please take out your english notebooks and your words with english reader book turn the page to page number 53 students please take out your english notebooks and your words with english reader book turn the page to page number 53 poem 3 someone came knocking by walter dela mer first of all i would be reciting the poem for you so listen to me someone came knocking by walter dela mer someone came knocking at my wee small door someone came knocking i'm sure 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 i listen i open i look to left and right but not there was a stirring in the still dark night only the busy beetle tap tapping in the wall only from the forest the screech owl's call only the cricket whistling while the dew drops fall so i know not who came knocking at all at all at all now let's revise the four question and answers which we had done in the last video of exercise b exercise b answer the following question briefly question 1 who in your opinion is the speaker in the poem the answer is in my opinion a child is the speaker in the poem again i'm repeating answer 1 in my opinion a child is the speaker in this poem question 2 what did the speaker do to find out who was at the door answer the speaker opened the door and looked left and right to find out who was at the door answer 2 the speaker opened the door and looked left and right to find out who was at the door question 3 what did the speaker find on opening the door the answer is the speaker found nothing on opening the door the speaker found nothing on opening the door question 4 which creatures could be heard the answer is beetle owl and crickets could be heard answer 4 beetles owl and cricket could be heard now question number 5 could the speaker find out the cause of the knock at the door at the end how do you know so the answer is the speaker could not find out the speaker could not find out the cause of the knock at the door at the end when the speaker opened the door he couldn't see or she couldn't see anyone on the door so she couldn't find the cause of the knock at the door and how do you know now our views i think i think nobody had not i think nobody had knocked the door
it was just the fear of the child that made her you can write him also made her or him imagine and believe that someone knocked at the door this is the answer the speaker could not find out the cause of the knock at the door at the end i think after think comma nobody had knocked the door again a comma it was just the fear of the child that made her imagine and believe that someone knocked at the door so this is the answer i hope all of you have written with this we have finished our exercise b now i'm going to erase and start with the literary appreciation okay and the literary appreciation is read the following lines from the poem only the busy beetle tap tapping in the wall in the first line the b sound is repeated busy may be a beetle may be a and in the second line t sound is repeating that is tap tapping poets often found repeat sounds in their poem to bring music and rhythm poet often repeat these sounds to bring music and rhythm in their poems now find some more phrases from the poem where the sounds are being repeated and if you turn back to the poem you can see in the fourth line of the first stanza you can see sure 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 isme ss s hai tino mein and the last line of the poem of the second stanza at all at all at all so please underline ye sounds repeat ho rahe hain clear now let's start with the creative writing <clears throat> now creative writing is all of you take out your notebooks again this exercise has to be done in the notebook give the heading creative writing and what are we supposed to do imagine that someone has knocked at the door aapko imagine karna hai ki kisi ne aapke door pe knock kiya hai late at night late at night here yeah? now what happened when you open the door
write a letter to a friend describing your experience. Please all of you write this heading. Write a letter to your friend describing your experience. Up, imagine karna hai ki hum late night mein ghar pe hai aur kisi ne darwaje pe knock kiya hai. And hamara kya experience raha? Ye hume letter mein friend ko likhna hai. So the format of informal letter you all know. After the heading, leave two lines. Then comes the sender's address. Fine? So let's write A10 Vijaypat Sigra Varanasi. Fine? You don't write this address, you write your own address. Aap apna address ikhenge. After the heading, Margin line se ek dam start karna. Thik hai? Or none of your letters should touch the margin line. Aap do line heading ke baad leave karo ke. Wherein I'm drawing line. That's an indication for you to leave the line. You like the sender's address. That is your address. Again, wherever I'm drawing a line. That's again an indication. Leave one line. Then we'll write the date. Pehle hum kya likhenge? Month. So we'll write September. Uh, today is 18, comma, 2021. Again, leave one line. And, I hope you have So, we start the letter. Dear, write the name of your friend. When you blank, chora hai, yaha pe aap apne friend ka naam likhoge. Let's say, the name of my friend is Ashima. So, I'm writing Ashima, you write your friend's name. Aapki friend ka naam Ashima nahi hai, aap apne friend ka naam likho ge. Fine? Hum pehle kisi ko bhi letter likhte hai. So, hum kya karte hai? Usse hello hi karte hai. So, we start. Hello. Koi line nahi chhodni iske baad. Ho. Koi line nahi chhodni hai. Ashima ki jaga aap apne friend ka Naam likhenge. Clear? Hello? Ho? This letter of mine finds you in a sound health. Clear? Chali. Yaan tak likhye. फिर इसके ऊपर मैं इरेज करके इसके ऊपर से लिखना स्टार्ट करूंगी क्लियर तो सबको यहां तक समझ में आ गया आफ्टर द हेडिंग लीव टू लाइंस देन यू राइट योर एड्रेस देन लीव वन लाइन देन द डेट लीव वन लाइन सैल्यूटेशन हम अपने फ्रेंड को डियर करके और यहां पे आपको अपने फ्रेंड का नाम लिखना है देन यू राइट हेलो होप दिस लेटर ऑफ माइन फाइंड्स यू इन अ साउंड हेल्थ क्लियर नाउ आई एम इरेजिंग और इसी के आगे से हम कंटिन्यू करेंगे ठीक है ओके सो वी राइट उसी के आगे से बेटा आई वॉन्ट टू Share a strange, strange means something unusual, strange experience with you. Hum apne friend ke sang jo humne feel kiya wo share karenge. Yeah. Now 
Last night, I was alone. Last night, I was alone. at home watching television in the living room. Suddenly, the lights went off just just an imagination. The lights went off, O double F off, and I heard I heard a knock at at the main door. It was dark, so I was afraid to open the door. My parents had gone out for some urgent work. and were expected to return late in the night. Imagine karo ki parents nahi hai. Bahar. Clear? I mustered up courage and open the door. I looked around but found 
nobody outside i got so scared that i bound and closed the door good could it be an animal or somebody playing प्रैंक प्रैंक मतलब कोई मजाक कर रहा है और इट वॉज जस्ट माई इमेजिनेशन I thought to share this incident with you. do reply when ever you get time i end with love now yours lovingly write your name clear so we have finished poem 3 with this letter writing so if you want you can change the body of the letter i'll read from you hope this letter of mine finds you in a sound health i want to share a strange experience with you Last night I was alone at home watching television in the living room. Suddenly the lights went off and I heard a knock at the main door. It was dark so I was afraid to open the door. My parents had gone out for some urgent work and were expected to return late in the night. I mustered up courage. Mustered up courage means gathered courage and opened the door. I looked around but found no one outside. I got so scared that I banged and closed the door. Could it be an animal or somebody playing a prank or it was just my imagination? It's a question mark. Still we are finding the answer ki wo kya tha. I thought to share this incident with you. Do reply whenever you get time. I end with love. Yours lovingly. You write your name. So that's all for today students. i end today's video here only do learn and revise the taught exercises complete this letter neatly in your english notebook that's all for today thank you students have a good day ahead